I know it's Ron Paul all the time, <laughs> but, um, and it's my birthday, I don't have to shave if I don't want to on my birthday, um, radiation, right, I mean, I don't even want to talk about it, because nobody wants to talk about radiation, but you guys need to wake up to the fact that they've been lying to you for decades about radiation in this country, and they've been lying about Fukushima, total news blackout on that, um, I'm going to just put a few links down there. Maybe you do a little research. Getting information like this is super hard, even in this day and age of the Internet and people sharing links and information. But um, you need to make noise about the nuclear industry and its insanity. It's the stupidest thing humans do. And I know you energy from thorium people out there are talking about energy from thorium, and uh, you guys are just as bad and just as stupid. Um, there are other ways to make power. Water is fuel, for example. Can't have that. Uh, Tesla talked about many ways to, to drive energy. Um, there are hundreds of free energy devices that some more, uh, more viable than others, but there's a new physics out there, and the r nuclear energy and radiation is seen as day. It's dangerous. It's affecting all of us. There are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people uh, dying early because of cancers, especially when they get exposed as children. Like me, from Fukushima, I don't care. I'm halfway through. I'll, I will die of old age before cancer sets in on me. My children, not so much. Right? Especially little girls. Um, and if you understand the way th those radioactive isotopes and the radionucleides work in the body... Um, very difficult to get out once they get in, uh, but not impossible, and it's not fear-mongering, I've been accused of fear-mongering and scare-mongering, no, why doesn't the me media cover this, why doesn't they, why don't they just say, hey, today, uh, when the rain is falling, it's heavy fallout, and maybe you should stay indoors and keep your kids out, and not trap water on this day, and, you know, cover your plants if you're growing vegetables and so forth, uh, you know, greenhouse, or, you know, just put up a tent so the water doesn't fall there, you know, just take minor precautions, no big deal, I mean, you can't avoid it. The, the fallout from Fukushima, you're not getting away from it. You can't, you know, no sense hiding, but no sense, you know, chicken little either, putting your, or not chicken little, it's the, or being an ostrich either, just sticking your head in the sand while your ass gets covered in radiation, right? <laughs> um, anyway, and then the whole concept of free energy in mathematics, uh, or free like energy, but even just not even free energy. How about just GEET? How about just take a look at that link down there for GEET? Uh, where we use their old fuel with a slight twist, and instead of going with uh, aspiration, we use vaporation, right? Vaporizing, vapor carbs. Vapor, much, much more fuel efficient than aspiration, which is small particles. Just even that. No, you can't get a car that has a, gets 100 miles to a gallon. And these, you know, these companies, we bail them out, our, our auto industry. You can't make a car that gets 100 miles to a gallon with all the technology that's available for the last 30 years. Yeah, right, you're gonna come up with a volt, what a ridiculous thing that way. I mean, a, a, an electric car that gets just as good a <laughs> distance uh, and range as a, an electric car did a hundred years ago, literally. Uh, it's just, it's just painful, right? Um, but the radiation thing, people need to be informed about this. It's not conspiracy theory. Just take a look. Aaron Brockovich is getting involved. Um, it's it's uh, it's an important topic. And then the other thing, I just want to take a stick to Dr. Drew, because uh, somebody sent me this link about medical marijuana and how, you know, marijuana has absolutely no medical, it's a class one felony or a substance with no proven medical benefits, even though it's had proven medical benefits for hundreds of years before the United States came along just this last century and decided that it was, you know, of no use even though we know hemp and marijuana have had medicinal use going back thousands of years. And Run From the Cure is linked down there. And uh, Phoenix Tears is linked down there. And I put a couple other links up there of people giving testimonials. These people are just, it's just coincidence, right? They're, it's just coincidental that they're uh, somehow confusing uh, causation. <laughs> anyway, oh. Uh, these doctors trying to use mathematics to uh, fool and deceive you, when actually it's the exact opposite. We know for a fact that there's been huge benefits, and if you uh, and it's illegal, it's a felony. Pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals, not illegal, 
right? Radiation, not illegal. Radiation is not medicine, right? Mercury is not medicine. Poison is medicine, right? The pharmacologicals, that's why uh, they are, uh, you know, that's why you need a license. That's why you need a prescription, a doctor, because if they're considered poisonous or dangerous, right? Because we have this, this mythology in the United States that uh, a little poison cures. A little poison, no, a little poison is a little poison. And and we can go on about the pharmaceutical industry, on and on and on about the pharmaceutical industry. And this is yet another reason why Ron Paul is uh, got a, you know, oops, I had to mention him, uh, is, you know, has their ire because he was a doctor and he understands that those pharmaceuticals are not the answer every time. Um, they have their place. Make no mistake, modern medicine has its place. But so do these other things. And what they do is work with government industry to make monopoly so that you cannot have any other choice. You must have a vaccine. Make them money. You must carry medical insurance. Make them money. You must use um, you know, anything but marijuana. You cannot use it. You don't have a choice. And even if a state says, okay, well, we'll let you use it as you know, medical. We'll let you use THC for medical purposes. You know, not for recreational purposes, but for, uh, because you've got cancer or you've got whatever it is the feds come in and shut these guys down. The feds come in and arrest these people. The feds come in and make them criminals. All right, and Ron Paul is, you know, said enough is enough. And even people I know that are, you know, kind of on the side of the drug war and thinking that decriminalization is insane, they, even they have a problem with the federal, you know, federal government coming in to states where states have made it legal for their citizenry to use alternative methods. And the federal government says no. Where you you know that I mean there you go the Federalists and the Anti Federalists that argument seems to have been pretty clear, right? The Constitution nullification, we have a federal government that's out of control, a federal government that has too much power, right? That's why we had that Constitution, and now it's it's problems, and you know the fact that we have uh, gotten to the point where even milk. <laughs> is illegal selling raw milk. I mean, for God's sakes, of course, uh, you know, marijuana is going to be, you know, they're going to, if they can go in against milk, of course they're going to be able to go in against this crazy drug marijuana, right? Never mind that the founding fathers used hemp and that we've always grown hemp in this country and that hemp has more uses than you can shake your finger at and that American farmers should be able to grow hemp. And think about this because uh, the THC bearing uh, marijuana or cannabis is the hybrid, if you grew lots and lots of hemp, uh, the cross-pollinization would actually cause the THC levels in those hybrids to go down, because hemp in and of itself, you can't get high off of hemp. You can make rope out of it, and you can, you know, and, a, and the nutritious food source, right, hemp seeds, and oil, and, you know, a, a thousand and one other products, right, Ford making an entire car basically out of hemp, including the fuel, um, you know, and people are ignorant of that fact. I'll see if I can find those links. But, you know, hemp is a is absolutely not going to get you high. And the pollinization across uh, hemp, you know, people got to pe- put their plants indoors and in special grow rooms and stuff like that so that they don't get cross-pollinated with the hemp that will, that will turn their crop into, you know, <laughs> into inert hemp because that, that's the hybrid and the hemp is the dominant. Anyway, um, look at these two things. Just radiation and hemp. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's like you know, free energy, radio, right? free thinking. I mean, if you, I mean, take a look at me. Come on, <laughs> right? But it's not like I'm some wild guy, you know, that I have no education and I don't, you know, I come from just, oh, dude, this is really the good thing, right? Mathematics, statistics, right? Rational thought, critical thinking, brought about by the mathematics, it brings me to some of these conclusions that you know there is. Uh, knowledge there and that should be shared about hemp and cancer and you know i see these children just being abused by the medical establishment um you know and they say oh no it's we're in their best interest no radiation is not in their best interest mercury is not in their best interest um when there's other things that work that have been proven to work and they just you know try to keep the knowledge and information away from the american citizenry um, and under the guise of religion, that's the other thing. Oh, you know, they try to use religious zealots to uh, keep people from getting the medicine that they need. And then uh, they'll try to use global warming and it gets green for radiation, right? We, get, we, we use nuclear energy to heat water. Even Einstein was a gas. So that's like a hell of a way to heat water. 
There's many other better ways to heat water. And uh, find out about using frequency to split water apart. It's H2A, H2O, it's two parts hydrogen. Frequency, oh, not voltage, not amperage, but frequency. You literally split it apart, you're cracking the water apart. And now you've got fuel, and you get a lot more energy out. And, uh, anyway, there's 101 ways, right? and they have been these. and again, it comes down to the central bankers suppressing it. And suppressing knowledge and information, keeping it from the people. So here are some links about you know how we radiation has uh, caused many many harmful effects in the United States, and they basically kept it a secret. And the reason why American tobacco it causes so much cancer is because of nuclear testing, the fallouts on the on the uh, tobacco fields, and then you smoke that stuff. I'll see if I can find that link. But I mean, think about that. Right? Why is it that, you know, because all of that fallout down south and all those tobacco fields, you know, and then those tobacco plants pick up the radionucleides and then you smoke it and it gets in your lungs and it causes you more damage. And they have done everything they can to keep that a secret. And then some of that fallout didn't come from nuclear testing. It came from actually nuclear plants. And then the whole blackout on Fukushima. Anyway, look at the links. Uh, you know, try to be informed and make up your own mind. This is the one thing about Ron Paul people is they read Right? They read, they read, they read. They're more informed. The mainstream media tries to make it seem like they're not informed, but they're more informed. They read more. They're not conspiracy theorists. They read more about the Fed. So read more about nuclear energy and alternative energies and hemp. All right. Thanks for your time. I'm pretty sure this one won't be so popular, but take a look at this and use the links. All right. Ron Paul, 2012. Uh, Kurt Hermann's House of Math, uh, you know, again, mathematics comes down to the mathematics.